I'd step back and say the bigger issue for me is when you say as America and as a government that we are okay with free market health care. You have to define and be willing to accept what do you mean by free market health care? So when you're a non-CON state and you have free market health care where anybody can build a hospital anywhere or put up a surgery center anywhere, you have to be prepared that somebody might do something that then creates a problem for that community or that state. And you got to then let it play out. Meaning if somebody builds a hospital right next to another hospital in rural America and there's no CON to stop it or no regulatory body to say, hey, time out, does this make sense? Then both of them implode and you have no health care in that market. You have to be willing to accept that. You have to be willing to accept that's free market. If two businesses work something out and it didn't work out and then imploded, you got to let it play out. But we don't like that. We, want, we, we get worried. We get challenged. The community gets upset when one of those hospitals closes. Um, when you then go to the next layer and you let for profits, private equity, hedge funds involved, they're even more aggressive in making sure that they get their profit than just two organizations trying to compete. And then you're going to have some adverse outcomes and you're going to have some people behaving in a way that makes sense. Profit wise and business wise, it may not make sense, though quality wise, community wise, service wise, and you may have it work out and you may have it implode. And if it implodes, you gotta be willing to accept the implosion um, if you're gonna allow private equity and others to be involved. So, and not all private equity implodes, but you're gonna have some things where it might, just like some not-for-profits might implode if you have them build a hospital right next to somebody else who has a hospital. So I think we have to decide, do we want free market? Do we not want free market? And then if we want free market, do we want to put some guardrails in place to ensure that you don't have some of these adverse outcomes? And I think that's something our country hasn't really had to grapple with in the his historically, but I think we're going to need to as more for-profits, more hedge funds and private equity get involved in healthcare in general, not just in owning facilities, but in general, they're getting involved more. Um, and this environment's getting tougher. I think we're going to have to address how much are we willing to allow to not go well before America decides it wants to put some guardrails.